Welcome to this setup guide for installing OrcaScan on a separate TC51. So the first thing we got to do is download the app. And we do that by going to the Google browser and typing in orcascan.com slash install. And then the app should start downloading automatically. So that's the notification that's downloaded. But before I can install it, I need to go to settings and turn on the default setting to allow installation from unknown sources. So we can now install it. So if we head to downloads and find the file, we can initiate the install. That's it. So now we just need to configure the data wedge, which essentially allows OrcaScan to speak to the laser scanner and all the other features of the hardware. So we go to the profile zero, which is the default. And then we scroll down to keystroke output, which is where we're gonna make some changes. So firstly, we gotta make sure that it's enabled. And then we have to set the inter-character delay to 10 milliseconds. And then the last thing is under basic data formatting, the last option, where we activate the send enter key. So now we can power up OrcaScan. If you haven't already, we need to create an account. And then we can try to give the scanner a go here. So you can see that it captured the CN barcode here, and it shows me the detail screen. But I might not always want to add details for every scan, so I can go to settings and turn off the add detail after scan setting. So let's see how that works. So now it just adds the scans to the list. So that's how to set up the separate TC51.